put against me is not a question That's common sense But how I never play You would think that I'm on the bench What's up YouTube? It's Max D from VerticalJumpGroup.com And today I'm gonna show you my vertical jump workout from the gym So let's get started and let me show you what the workout looks like What's up YouTube? It's Max P from VerticalJumpTruth.com And today I'm gonna show you my full vertical jump workout from the gym And keep in mind that all of these exercises are from the Vertical Jump Truth dunk training program called the Vertical Jump Truth which can be found at VerticalJumpTruth.com Make sure that you do each leg 16 times When you do both legs that completes one set And every single week I'm gonna post my vertical jump workout on this channel So after that exercise I did practice jumps for height I did that for 4 sets of 6 reps. Now as soon as I noticed a decrease in the height of my jump, I stopped doing this exercise. The reason being is because the vertical jump movement is a very fast movement. And if you go for too long and you try jumping too much, then you might overtrain and not see great results in your vertical jump. So go all out and as soon as you notice a decrease in your performance, stop completely. After that I did sprints for 3 sets and these are short distance sprints, so just go all out 3 times. After the sprints, I did one leg on and off box jumps. Now for this exercise, I just jumped off one leg and then I reset my feet and came back down. Now make sure that you do each leg six times. That completes one set. So this exercise works really good on your reactive ability as well. Now I'm gonna tell you the truth. Originally, I was a one leg jumper. I was not born with good genetics for jumping, but with hard work and dedication, I was able to start dunking off one foot. And then after more dedication and a lot more hard work, I was able to start jumping off two feet. And this exercise right here really helped me increase my one leg and two leg vertical jump. Just because you do one leg plyometrics metrics does not mean that you're not working your two leg vertical jump. Because reactive ability is used in both of these jumps. So the last plyometric exercise for this workout that I did was depth jumps. I did four sets of six reps of depth jumps. Now when doing depth jumps, it's important that you jump as high as you can when you land. So when you step off the box, as soon as your feet touch the ground, you have to explode up, keep the ground contact time to a minimum and jump as high as you can. Because you have to explode in this exercise. Now do not overdo this exercise and do it too much because it is very stressful on your central nervous system. And if you cannot squat 1.5 times your body weight, then definitely do not focus a lot on plyometrics because you have to have strong legs before emphasizing plyometrics. After that, I went to the weight room. I did jump squats. I did four sets of five reps. This works really good on your explosive ability. Then I did squats. I did four sets of five reps. Now I used weight that's a lot lighter than what I used to use because I wanted to focus more on form and go down as low as I could. Now when going down, you're gonna emphasize more glutes and more hamstrings. If you barely bend your knees, then you're not really gonna emphasize the muscles that are very important for jumping. So after my squats, I did my deadlifts, four sets of five reps. Once again, I used less weight to focus more on form. And let me tell you the truth guys, my legs were shot after this workout. After the deadlifts, I went to do dumbbell lunges. I did three sets of six reps. Now the key to doing lunges is to extend the front foot. You have to have muscular legs if you wanna jump high. Do not do these exercises for more than eight repetitions because that way you will not be working on your strength as much. So make sure that you go all out every single time you work out and do not do more than 10 repetitions because that way you're gonna start working out your endurance and you don't really wanna do that. And keeping a low rep range will help you with your vertical jump. Now to end the workout, I did calf raises and I did four sets of about 16 to 20 reps. I tried to go slow and focus on my calves being worked. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out the description of this video for the full workout. Keep checking back, I'm gonna post a lot of vertical jump training workouts. And if you wanna increase your vertical jump instantly, then get the full program at verticaljumptruth.com. So let's get started and let's start dunking. I